take immediate action to bring the property into compliance. Okay. So, so an industrial storage store, 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 Storage yard. Uh, he said it's zone I-2, too. Is that correct? He said it's, it's split between R3 and, R and I-2. Is, that, is, yes. is this property I-2 or is it R3? It is dual zone. There's one parcel that is split zone. He said, I don't know what I-2 this property at the bottom is right here? Mm -hmm. Yes. That's the right That is R3. The continuation of it is up to the right. No, the blue. Up to the blue. That is all one parcel. It is a dual zone. Where is the zoning where the lots are? Does it have the industrial or storage? R3. They're R3. Yes. There are no buildings on this lot, sir? There are. Because if you look at the definition in section 904A, it gives you uses by right in R3. Talked about stories of buildings, but not stories of yards. Okay, so you're, 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 you're appealing the zoning officer's uh, notice of violation, correct? And you're claiming that it's always been a storage yard, correct? Yeah, uh, storage of some, some type of equipment or material, yeah. How far back? From, from uh, 2005, it doesn't look like anything was going on there. We're talking 15 years ago from these aerial photos. There's the one from 2012. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. But then, if it, did, if it was there, it was in non-compliance because of the, the UDO was in uh, January of 2000 with the R3. It may have been in non-compliance, but no. it's been used that since then. Uh, If if that lot if there was activity on that lot in two thousand when the ordinance came
came in, or, or, or 1999, uh -huh. up to that date, then it would be pre-existing, it would be non-conforming. But if it happened after that, in 2005, from the photo shows, that's where it started. So he was five years off of it already. And the 2005 doesn't show a whole lot of activity on there either. So you get the 2010 doesn't show much. 12, 2012 is like the most activity. 2019 went way back because I think A1 was already gone out of there. And Weaver Town was gone, the, the storage bins were gone out of there too, I think, by then. So who, who is the owner that's storing uh, the gravel and sand? Who's the owner that's storing the smaller star? Is it Mr. Fuchs? Yes. And he's the property owner? Yes. Hi, Mr. Sorry. Mr. Ryder. Um, I, I'm not going to belabor this. I think the board already made the point that, um, and I, I couldn't see this either in the pictures. I didn't see anything in the 1956 picture or the 2005 picture or the 2010 picture uh, that indicated any kind of a storage. And, and I, I didn't think you were able to, and I have the pictures here too. I just, I didn't see anything. Yeah. I think the board's question and my question was I, I don't see any storage or anything uh, happening on that property in 1956, okay. 2005, or frankly even in 2010. In the 2005 picture, it, it, it looks. Um, okay. Yeah. You agree with me on that? Yeah, I, I guess my point was the road that comes in through there. Was always used as like a, a turnaround, if, if you want to call it that. And I don't have a, a photo of it every single day during those years, you know what I mean? So, you take okay. well, yeah, And you weren't, I mean, this, Mr. Fuchs isn't being cited for, for the road, he's being cited for the use of the property as a storage, yeah. outdoor storage, correct? Okay, and I, and I don't see any other evidence of that. Mr. Carter, do you, do you have any other evidence other than these couple of pictures that you brought tonight? I do not. Okay. And um, for the record, which zoning ordinance do you contend um, that this was operating as a lawful use under? Which particular zoning ordinance? saying that under the current UDO you believe that this the storage use is a lawful use in this particular zoning district? I'm saying it's a continued use. It's been, you know, I don't have a picture of every single day from the year 2000, you know, showing that there's something there, a gravel pile or a material or a, a box there. Um, from every single day of, of the year. Okay, but you also have no evidence whatsoever of this particular storage use on this property prior to the enactment of the UDO in 2000. At least you presented nothing other than these pictures. Correct. Sure. Do you know if your um, if Mr. Fuchs has a certificate of non-compliance, of non-conformity? Does he hold a certificate of nonconformity for the property? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is he here tonight to answer some of these questions? Okay. 
Uh, do you know when these particular parcels were purchased by Mr. Keeps or a company related to him? <coughs> if you know. Um, I do not have the parcel listing, but I do not have the sale date of, of each one. And, and these particular parcels uh, have always been zoned residential, is that right? right? Yes. You have no evidence to demonstrate it was zoned anything other than the, the residential or R3? Correct. That's all the questions I have for Mr. Kreider. But, but he did claim that it's a dual, dual zone. Is it zone A2 also? It's split. And I think the, the, the zoning officer can answer those questions and we'll all call once Mr. Kreider's done. Another split parcel type of situation. Is it split? Is it split where? There's one parcel that is split R3 and then the last corner of it is I2. Yeah, yeah I'm sorry, I guess that's split zoning. So this big parcel down at the bottom coming around is still part of that roof right there. Mr. Hughes owns one big one two three four five six separate parcels. Okay. One of which being the largest one has the top right corner at zone I2 okay. and the remainder of the parcels are. Okay, so the storage yard does not exist in I2. Correct. Okay. That's what I was trying to find out. Anybody else any questions for Mr. Crowder? No. Uh, does anybody in the audience want to speak? Sir, give it, from the podium, give, give your name and address. 